August 11th. This experience must come. Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven, and Elisha saw him no more. 2 Kings 2 verses 11 through 12. It is not wrong for you to depend on your Elijah for as long as God gives him to you, but remember that the time will come when he must leave, and he will no longer be your guide and your leader, because God does not intend for him to stay. Even the thought of that causes you to say, I cannot continue without my Elijah. Yet God says you must continue. Alone at your Jordan, 2 Kings 2 verse 14. The Jordan River represents the type of separation where you have no fellowship with anyone else and where no one else can take your responsibility from you. You now have to put to the test what you learned when you were with your Elijah. You have been to the Jordan over and over again with Elijah, but now you are facing it alone. There is no use in saying that you cannot go. The experience is here and you must go. If you truly want to know whether or not God is the God your faith believes him to be, then go through your Jordan alone. Alone at your Jericho, 2 Kings 2 verse 15. Jericho represents the place where you have seen your Elijah do great things. Yet when you come alone to your Jericho, you have a strong reluctance to take the initiative and trust in God, wanting instead for someone else to take it for you. But if you remain true to what you learned while with your Elijah, you will receive a sign, as Elijah did, that God is with you. Alone at your Bethel, 2 Kings 2 verse 23, at your Bethel, you will find yourself at your wit's end, but at the beginning of God's wisdom. When you come to your wit's end and feel inclined to panic, don't. Stand true to God and he will bring out his truth in a way that will make your life an expression of worship. Put into practice what you learned while with your Elijah and use his mantle and pray. See 2 Kings 2 verses 13 through 14. Make a determination to trust in God and do not even look for Elijah anymore.